Ohio, gozaimasu! <laughs> so today we are in a cute little seaside port town called Onomichi in Hiroshima which is famous for things such as cats, citrus fruit and temples among other things but most importantly it is our starting point for today's adventure and today's final destination which is... Shikoku! So we are going to be island hopping along a very famous road called the Shimanami Kaido to Dogo Onsen where we are going to be taking an onsen. Hi, seno, let's go. Imabari Homen, kakko shikoku. So I think in total there are eight bridges. I might need to fact check that there are actually this many bridges. This is the first of many though. So we have just come back to Honshu and we are already <laughs> skipping to another island. Ah, it has already started. Look at that. Yeah, first time in Shikoku? Yeah. But mother, mother, mother. Mother, 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 mother. <laughs> so if, <laughs> if you are an avid cycler, you might have heard of Shimanami Kaido before. It is one of Japan's most famous, if not the most famous, cycling roads in the entire country. So it goes all along this beautiful scenic route along the Seto inland sea between Hiroshima and Shikoku. But instead of cycling it, today we are just taking the car. Why? Because it's cold! It's really cold. And also, if we leave the van here, we have to do the cycle twice. It's about 60 kilometers or something each way and uh, ain't nobody doing 120 kilometers in one day. So here we are, <laughs> taking the van on our first bridge. Ah! Okay, mana, 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 yeah. Actually, you want to travel in Onomichi too. But since it has been Bear's birthday, it's about to be my birthday. And since it has been a very long time since we've been to a Ryokan, we have booked a one night stay in Dogo Onsen, which is one of Japan's most famous onsen hotspots. If you are a fan of the Ghibli movies, you might know it as the inspiration for Spirited Away. So we are going to go and show you around the town once we get there. But we still have a whole load of islands left to go. Yes. So they actually have like a separate road for cyclists, so you won't see any of them along here. But we do cross all of the same bridges, I believe. Apparently fun fact for you today we are also going to cross japan's smallest prefectural border between hiroshima and ekime so the land border is like on an island and at one point in time fishermen from ekime and fishermen from hiroshima both decided it's my island so they battled it out by rowing out to see who could reach the island first whoever could reach the island first the island belonged to Apparently they reached it about the same time, so the northern part belongs to one of them, the southern part belongs to the other. Yeah. <laughs> First official Shimanami Kaido bridge. Kinda looks like where? To Kyushu, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna stick to Wales. Yeah, Hi. true, true. Hi. Seto Uchi Si. I have just seen my first island down there. That is tiny. I don't think that's the border. Look at all those islands. Oh. Why? <laughs> Fourth 
island. So that island right there, I think, is the smallest prefectural border. So that might mean that right about now, I think we have crossed over into FMA. I'm waiting for some confirmation. I don't know yet though. Are you sure? I think so. Looks like that could be it. Maybe. Oh, Saira. So we have arrived. We are now at Kirosan Observatory. And I'm not gonna lie, I am knackered. It's probably a good job we didn't cycle, but this is what we have come for. Jalan. So you get like a whole panoramic view so you can kind of see the mountains in the sky. Very hazy day for it, but it does look very magical, doesn't it? The mountains really like floating. It's a bit creaky. <laughs> I don't think I really expected to see snow in Shikoku. Is it a snowy place? No, I don't. My image of it is very warm because of all of the oranges and things. But I guess that's not a problem because we're going to the onsen. So let's get back on the road. <laughs> <laughs> so we have come to our Ryokan Yamatoya Beso in the middle of Dogo Onsen and it might just be the most luxurious Ryokan room we have ever ever been in. Not just because we have aerial views over the famous Dogo Onsen town, not because we get given a little yukata that we can walk around in, not because of the little TV hidey hole in the wall, not because we have a water feature in our entranceway, but because we have our very own onsen in our hotel room. An absolute dream. And on that note, I think it is time to give you a tour. But before we do that, time to go get in those yukata. Oh. Ta <laughs> so, how about that grand tour then? 
Not of me, of the room, but it's been a hot minute since I've worn one of these. <laughs> Just the book this. Ah. Not to mention the fact that there is some beautiful aircon going on in here. It is so cozy. <laughs> the most important part of the room tour. Next. And you say, Wow! Have you ever seen a TV? Stuck inside the wall like that. <laughs> so we have our little table area, which later on when we go out and have something to eat is going to get turned into our bed area. Right behind it, we have beautiful ikebana, like <sighs> arrangement. And of course we have our beautiful shoji doors leading out to the view of Dogo Onsen yeah. itself. The red seems very like, I don't know, Thematic. I feel like I'm in a movie right now. We also have these beautiful seats with all of this detail. I am absolutely loving this. Oh, but that is not all in this room. Have a look at this little area to do your back of your hair since mine never seems to be as straight as I want it to be. Gorgeous. Right? Also, can I just add? Look at these socks that we got given. Very cool. And then back out here. It's all a bit dark. It's very thematic, very beautiful, very oshare. I'm not sure how much you can see, but we have our little tea area with ooh, suctioned on cups. I don't know how you. Oh, there we go. Oh, very easy. Okay. So we have. Oh, is that Matsuyama Castle? Yeah. <gasps> Matsuyama Coffee. We also have this. Your display cabinet with a beautiful <laughs> cup set. I hear that Shikoku is very famous for its pottery, so maybe that's a little hint towards that. I don't know. Some glasses. <laughs> and then maybe, yeah, little tea set. So I guess that was just an extra. Oh, plus some matcha, it looks like. Oh, oh my god. It's like proper tea leaves. <gasps> I know what I'll be drinking for breakfast tomorrow morning. Gorgeous. I know what's behind this door. I haven't seen it yet. So before we get to that, I'm just gonna show you quickly here a little water feature. Beyond there is the toilet. Uh... Ooh. 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 <laughs> Comes with all the mod cons. And I mean, this alone, the ceiling, everything about it just seems like you've come to your very own onsen. So, without further ado, it's time to see our onsen bath. Uh. Okay, first of all, this place comes with a Dyson hairdryer, please, thank you. The amenities look crazy. And right behind you... The bath. Da da da. da. Oh. oh my goodness, it's like proper hinoki! <laughs> smells like a sauna. Steki! Ua castle! Seriously, it's like being in your own spirited away movie. You have like the most rustic, Ua. fragrant, woody smelling bath. Also, have you ever seen handles like that? That's like jade or something. And they say actual dog on eh? Plus, I mean, they also have the shower, the bowl. It kind of, it reminds me a little bit of being in a very big van because look behind you. Uh, <laughs> this too. <laughs> and there's one final thing I want to show you is our entranceway. Another extremely <laughs> over-the-top touch that just makes this place ridiculous. It's insane. This place is crazy. I love it. We have our own little grate. <laughs> have you ever seen a hotel with one of these? And the absolute best part about this yorkan, we did, could I say? <laughs> We're literally on tap in the wall. Plus, I 
ice cream. So, those are indoor goal. Ooh, ooh, it's so cold. Oh my god, oh my god, it comes out so quick. Just happy birthday to both of us. Oh. <laughs> so good. So, so good. good. There's also grand public baths so if you're done with the private bath in your room you can also check out the bigger ones down here <laughs> my own little tatami corner this place is so good it's really cool So, we have come for Ekume's speciality Thai meshi. So, Thai being sea bream. There are two different types the Matsuyama special and also the Uajima. Uajima special. So, the shop actually shows you how to eat them. The difference between them is that one of them is raw and you eat it as like a sashimi style, the other one is boiled and cooked with the rice. So, we have instructions here with the Matsuyama one. What you're supposed to do is eat, try a little bit of it as it is, get the taste of it, then you add the toppings freely as you wish and then finally you eat it as like ochazuke by adding nice. some tea at the end. So very simple, eat it as you like and then with this one, the uajima special, you heat up the rice I guess, then you mix the egg with the tane sauce and you add all the different toppings and then you put it on top of the rice. This one comes as a raw fish you put it on top of the rice and you put the sauce on top so it kind of cooks all together and apparently it is only served in ekume you can't really find it anywhere else in japan so are you sure ma so i've heard either way i've never eaten it like that so i'm very very excited for this yeah. that is a feast that is good. also can we please appreciate i, I mean this thai dish thai. Are you ready to see the main event? Right, yes. Taimashi. Oh, oh my god, that smells delicious. I'm waiting for the day that Smell Vision is created because that smells so good. Plus all of the little toppings that you're supposed yeah. to use for it. So we have some kind of like, I don't know, mochi mugi, miso -y type thing. I, I literally don't know what any of this is apart from the wasabi. Oh, maybe, not sure. And then mine. This is uajima, so raw rice. And then tare with egg. And we also have tolado. So I have my little rice paddle that is nice and warm. Look at that. I feel like I should like mix it around a bit, should I? Maya. Yeah, sonomama. Yeah, that's true. It does say sonomama. Tabete. Ja. Sonomama de. It is so fresh. That's good. Happy birthday to me! <laughs> now to add the toppings. I just, just wanna... eat, like, itself. Right? Yeah. Just to see what it is. This kind of looks like rustic miso. Mmm. Oh, that's some good, yeah. Like red miso plus. Wait, I think it says, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is that mitsuba? I don't know, plus like some kind of shiso thing and this all very fresh, all very tasty, all going on top and then yeah. it really brings out like the flavor of the fish okay. so much rice that's fish <laughs> Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like super luxurious TKG. <laughs> what? The Thai is so tasty and so is Thai. 
This is a very warm welcome to Shikoku. Mm. This is my yaki. Mm -hmm. The rice is tasty. Shine. To be honest, I just like the fact that they give you like your own little rice paddle. Like even that itself feels very luxurious. From that sea we saw. So I heard that this version is like the fast food version of Taimashi. It's made so you can make it quickly on a boat. Another name for it is Kaizoku Yori, so pirate food. If it's good enough for pirates, it's good enough for me. Mm. I don't understand how they're the same dish. I mean, clearly they're not the same dish. They're called the same thing, but the taste, the texture, totally different. Mm. Both are delicious. Look at that. Ooh, we saw my favorite kind of gari gari texture. Oh, just okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Cheers, ma. Yum. This is like three dishes in one. I mean, you have like. Oh my god, I forgot about that. I also have the sashimi. Everything. I mean, taimashi is great and everything, but having it fresh, raw, sashimi style, that umami, yeah, it's a feast. This is an absolute feast. What is this stuff on top? No idea. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Everything tastes great. <laughs> I don't know what the pink stuff is, but whatever it is, it's delicious. No idea. Mm. Really like deep taste. Mm. Number is also great. Yeah. Mm. Too much to eat. Today has been awesome. Mecha <laughs> mecha. It has been a very short time since we first said goodbye to Honshu to go to Kyushu and now we are already in Shikoku. Awesome way to celebrate our joint birthday. Yeah. And we have more fun adventures to enjoy tomorrow. <laughs> How was sleeping? I slept like an absolute log. I think <laughs> that futon and that pillow set is probably the best I've ever had in your yeah. can. It had like a little groove for your head. I think it was like memory foam or something. I don't know. I slept. It, it was a delicious sleep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I feel super refreshed. <laughs> I had no idea if I was putting in too much or not, but it looks like a decent color, I guess. Cheers. <laughs> I almost forgot, I was just enjoying myself too much. Um, oh, so bitter, but. It's quite strong, but. Deep. Real green tea, not just out of a packet, that is luxury. That's kind of cool. Tea is good. What a gorgeous way to start the day. <laughs> this is the life. Yeah, <laughs> Uh huh. I mean, we kind of look a bit ridiculous in a little like. Yeah. <laughs> it looks very small, 
but it's so deep. It smells so good, the smell of this wood. And that natural sunlight is just what you need to wake you up in the morning, isn't it? And I love this water, actually. Really, like, clear, but... Like, it feels medicinal, it feels like it's good for your body. Yeah. And like, we didn't really add any cold water to it, it's like the perfect temperature naturally. Everything is perfect. And Dogo wants it, it's great. <laughs> yeah, it's nice, Dogo. Check out complete. I am feeling it radiant now. <laughs> Hopefully you have enjoyed our video. Right now we are back in the car for more Chikoku adventures. Where we will be next time, that is a secret. You need to stay tuned to find out. Yeah. So if you're excited for our Chikoku travels and you want to see where we're gonna be next time, do not forget to like, subscribe, and also share because why not? Jamaja Zikino Dogo de Aimashou. Hi, Seno Janin!